Hi guys, welcome back to one of my videos. Uh, so today I'm going to be making a video uh, on the on, on the cons of subbed and dubbed anime. Um, sorry about the angle I was doing there. I was kind of set up something for a sketch I'm going to do during this video. Uh, so yeah, that's why you got lighting there. That's from the anime I'm going to be watching for this thing. Something. If you, you know, actually, if you can guess what anime that is, just from those pictures there, I will give you a closer look. Here you go. If you can tell what anime that is, just from what I'm what, just from um, the picture, then I'll give you a shout out. Give them a shout out. That's a pretty useless anyway, but yeah. Right. Okay. Um. So in this. Uh, I will, okay, I already said that, never mind. Uh, yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's get on to the subs and dub. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I messed that up. On to the cons of subbed and dubbed anime. So, for starters, we're going to start off with subbed anime. Now, if you're going to kind of hate me about this, um, about me making a video uh, on this topic, get out because I don't want to listen to you if you're, gonna, if you're only here to complain. However, if you're here to listen to my opinion, you can stay here. If you're here that, that you don't really want to listen to opinion, but um, you just want to watch one of the videos, you can stay here as well. Uh, and if you're just coming here to watch anime, well, you're not going to watch that much because I'm only going to. You're only going to have the sound of it. So just saying, oh, that's a notification. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the first con of sub anime I would say that I've actually realised myself is um, you know when you're watching it you can't really look away otherwise you'll miss some of what's going on so say for example um, you want to check the time you can't because then you'll miss what's going you'll miss like a bit of what's going on here yeah, I'll show you during a sketch that I just mentioned I was going to do earlier never mind Wait, what? What's going on? I better rewind. Okay, so obviously you saw there, um, uh, you know, uh, I could just rewind and that is, it's just like a small little con of the thing, but I'm just saying, you know, that's one of them. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video quickly because I kind of forgot the other one. Okay, now this one actually is, you know, a genuine problem, kind of, I guess. Uh, it's actually, um, subtitle may will technically be worse for your eyes because you're having to concentrate on, on like, the words and what's going on. So you're kind of um, having to look up and down and in different directions and that's actually quite bad for your eyes especially if it's on a small screen like say for example you're watching an anime on YouTube and that requires you to use your phone so that's gonna that's quite like a small screen so that's gonna hurt your eyes a lot more than it would be if it's dubbed anime so there we go that's another problem now I'm moving on to dubbed anime yeah I know that was short that whole thing but I don't really care Okay, so with dubbed anime, one of the problems that I've kind of found um, is uh, if someone's walking into the room that you're watching anime in, uh, no matter how many times you turn it up, if you're not good at tuning things out, you cannot hear what's going on, so you have no idea. Which, you know, that kind of uh, contrasts with the whole thing of with subbed anime, you forget what's going on if you look away. So yeah, with subbed anime you have to look. With dubbed anime, you have to hear, so that's why. Um, now, uh, with you know, with this problem, uh, let's say uh, your mum just walks in uh, to give you something um, while you're watching an anime, and then I'm not going to just get to this, by the way, and then um, 
uh, you know, say for example, you're watching it on like volume 30 or something like that, you, you're going to have a bit of trouble tuning it out, maybe. So then you won't be able to hear what's going on. Okay, right, and now I'm moving on to the second problem. Sorry if I'm rambling on a bit, I just, I kind of forgot most of them. Okay, one second, I need to try and remember it now. Okay, so another problem I've realised, it's not really ma that much of a problem, but I'm pretty sure that in, uh, um, it, with Dove Dynamo, uh, they changed the opening to a kind of English opening. So I think for Dragon Ball Z, I'm pretty sure, that's an example, um, I'm pretty sure for the Dove version they changed the opening to an English opening, because that's because uh, at the time when it was streaming uh, it was like kind of what you would watch during breakfast time or dinner time and it would be on the TV not on a computer or a laptop like what you have now you know you can just watch anime sites and everything like that um, yeah so a problem was that they would change the openings it isn't really that much of a problem because um, you know they, they have the original lyrics they, it's just a different voice really as long as they've got a voice that sounds quite similar to the voice of the um, original singer, then that's a good idea. That's, that's good, as long as they keep to that. And that's the same with dubbed voices, really. You know, um, like with the Seven Deadly Sins anime, uh, they've kept good dubbed voice actors that have very similar voices to the ones in the subbed voice actors. So, I think that's good. So, yeah, um... That's the end of the video, really. Uh, I didn't really have much to say on that. I've got more to say on the pros, you know, the good things about subbed and dubbed. Uh, 